out and about in the community. Tips for going out and about in the community. There may be lots of places you or your child wants to explore in your local area. This could be days out like the cinema, swimming or soft play. It may also include places like the supermarket, shops or your local park. We're going to look at some strategies for going out and about in your local area. Preparing your child. Some children get overwhelmed at the idea of going somewhere new, so preparing your child can really help. Try photos of the area to make a social story and explain the rules of where you are going. Try and give enough detail while allowing some flexibility if plans are slightly altered. Here is an example. On Saturday we are going swimming at 11am. We will be there for two hours. I am going with mum. We will drive to the pool. We will get changed and rinse our bodies. We will swim and play games. We will shower, dry ourselves and get changed. We will then go home in the car. What you need. Pack a bag the night before if possible and involve your child in packing if they're able. Think of what you'll both need. For example, toys for the car, drinks or a snack. If your child struggles in busy environments, consider any sensory aids that might help. For example, they might use earphones or a hat to block out noise in a busy environment. If your child has any mobility aids, bring the equipment most suitable for that location. For example, do they need their tray for their wheelchair that day, or will the table be more appropriate? Environment Think about the environment you're going to. This can include transport and how to get there. For sensory needs, consider the time of day you're going and any sensory aids that would be useful, like fidgets. For physical or mobility needs, consider things like parking, access and toileting. There are lots of national strategies like Ewan's Guide or the Radar Key system in place to support with accessibility that you may wish to look up. You may also wish to call ahead to check with the venue about your own specific needs. Staying calm. If your child is calm, they may cope better with a new environment more easily than if they are anxious. Calming activities can be useful here. A bag of favourite calming games and activities can be used. You can incorporate deep pressure activities into your day, for example, reminding your child to give themselves a squeeze or pushing themselves into their own chair. You could consider grounding activities if needed. Having the opportunity to sit somewhere quiet like the car may also be useful. Have fun. Acknowledging and problem solving potential challenges ahead of time may make for a more enjoyable day. Try to prepare your child and pack what you'll need if possible. Consider your environment and utilise calming strategies if needed. Lastly, try to have fun. 